Blocking a scene is an essential part of filmmaking, but to keep your shots consistent and make sure your actors and camera are hitting the correct marks, you can use some inexpensive tape and T marks to work more efficiently on set. Welcome to the Filmmark. Blogging is the process of working out where your actors need to stand and move throughout each scene of your film to help tell the story. Some questions you need to ask yourself when blogging a scene is, where are your actors in the scene? Do they move? Where do they move? Is the shot achievable? We have a video which goes into more detail about the theory of blogging if you want to check it out. Blogging is done in three different stages. Firstly, you can pre-block the scene before the shoot day. This will allow you to work out if the location is suitable to shoot the scene and, if it is, work out the best way to use it. If you cannot get into the location before the shoot, don't worry. Most blogging is set up on the day and is one of the first things you should do when you turn up on set. This is the second stage of blogging. Depending on the length of the scene, you can walk through the whole scene with your actor and DOP so they know how it is going to play out. This will allow your actor to know how they need to move physically throughout the scene and where they need to be when delivering certain lines of dialogue. It also allows your camera team to know where the camera and lightning equipment needs to be, but also flag up any issues they have regarding where they can place the camera. This also allows others to have a creative input about the blogging. The first two stages of blogging are there to work out the general movement of your actor and camera, but the third stage of blogging is where you set specific marks of where you need your actor and camera and focus to hit in order to capture the footage. For a short film of the Asylum Groove, we filmed this shot. Our actor had their starting point and moved towards the camera, keeping the position of their feet on frame right. The camera tilts down whilst the first AC keeps the focus tracked on the feet. The actor lands on his end point and places the mop down. This may not look like a complicated shot, but there's lots of points for our actor and camera to hit. To achieve the shot, we placed the camera load down on the floor and asked our actor to perform the action from point one to two. Then we asked our actor to stay in the position as we adjusted the camera angle and placed a number of different marks on the floor. Firstly, we placed a blue piece of gaff tape on the bottom of the frame to indicate if the shot has overshot the tilt of the camera. Next, we placed a T mark just off screen to the left of the frame. This shows our actor where his end mark is and where his feet need to line up with and where he needs to place the mop down. This also allows our first AC to set their focus marks on the follow focus. The reason T shapes are used is because it tells the actor how far left and right they need to be, but also how far forward and back they need to be. You can place T marks down by making them out of tape or by using these metal T shaped brackets you can find in a DIY shop. Then you can use gaff tape to tape them up so they're nice and bright so people can see them. You can also reuse them and place them down on surfaces like concrete which tape does not stick to. We have links to the metal tees and tape in the description. The last mark we added was a focus mark which was just off camera right. The mark was set halfway between point 1 and 2 so our first AC could see the halfway point and determine the speed of the focus. We use T marks and tape throughout the whole shoot, sometimes for our actor to know where he needs to stand or mop and other times for focus. Having T marks and tape helps to improve the accuracy when shooting as the actors, camera and focus puller know where they need to hit their marks. If you need to do many takes, this technical side of filmmaking will be consistent and will help you save time when shooting. If you haven't already, check out the video we have on blogging if you want to find out more information. If you want to help this channel grow, give us a thumbs up or down if you don't. Hit the orange lens cap to subscribe and remember, achieve it one shot at a time.